In order to better show you around the graphical user interface or GUI of QGIS, I'm going to actually begin by opening up just a few layers. We're going to do that with this add vector layer. We'll navigate to the directory where uh, the QGIS sample data is. And we will go into this uh, shape files folder. I'll select Alaska and then we'll hold down the multiple select button which is either Apple on OS X or Control or Shift on grass, um, Linux or Windows and we will open up Alaska we'll open up this and this and rivers and major rivers we hit open and we'll see them appear over here now in our legend area. Next I'm going to take off all of the layers with the hide all layers button and okay there we go. Now that we've got some layers actually loaded um, I'll start by just talking briefly about the main buttons. Of course you've got your your new save save as open and print buttons. I've just talked to you about the add vector layers and we've got add rasters and we can work with PostGIS layers and also WMS layers as well. Once we've actually got the layer loaded and displayed, so we'll, for example, open up the Alaska vector layer, we can do things like zoom in. I can either select an area to zoom in on, or I can simply click and it will zoom in. I'm going to go back to the last zoom level. Okay. And now I can pan around the map by clicking and dragging and then it gets re-rendered. Okay. If I want to zoom out, I can just click and zoom. I can zoom to the full extent of the area or if I've got certain features selected, I can zoom to that selection. I can zoom to the layer as well. So if I want to zoom to the pipelines layer, I can zoom to that. Now you'll notice that the pipelines don't show up very well. Okay, So what I'll do is if I double click on pipelines, I can actually change the outline color maybe something like pink would show up and we can maybe even make them a little bit thicker okay I'll click alright now one of the things in the vector layers we have attribute data so I will actually open the table now if we look here the different categories we've got Below, um, below surface, submerged, underground, we've got on ground. All right. So it might be useful to differentiate between the two. So we look at this, at the category name, All right. and we'll just keep that in mind. We'll double click it again, and we'll, we're going to change the legend type to unique value we're going to set the classification field and we'll classify it and now you'll see that we've got the two now for each one we can select a different color so for the below surface maybe we will set that to a red and the on We'll set to a purple. And we click OK. And now you'll see the underground pipeline is in red. Those aren't showing up all that well again. So what we can do is we can select them both and we can make them thicker. To really show you, I can even make them say outline width is one. Ok, 
Okay, now if I zoom to that layer, to the Alaska layer, now you'll see it shows up much more clearly. The Alaska layer is composed of many polygons. The pipeline is actually a line vector and now I'm going to show you the point vectors. So this is the population. We will open the attribute table again and we'll see that this is talking about different buildings, whether it's buildings, settlements, we can scroll down. We can see that these might be interesting to separate and that's under this F code description. So if we remember that, 